What's good, YouTube? Today's video is going to be about things guys find attractive and how to make a guy like you. The first thing you can do to make a guy like you is be a happy person. I can't stress this enough. No one's going to want what you have if it's not working for you. When it comes to your energy or the way you come off to people, you have to look at least moderately pleased with life. What guy in his right mind is going to want to join you in misery if you're always down in the dumps? Happy people are consistently the most popular people for a reason. Everyone wants what they have. People want to be a part of the joy they possess. Joy is contagious and it makes people think you must be fun and exciting. That makes them want to get to know you. The second thing you can do to make a guy like you is be approachable and friendly. This shit is super simple, but it's true. Don't forget to smile. It makes guys feel welcome to speak to you. If I can't get a smile out of a person, I ain't saying shit to them. Resting bitch face makes people feel rejected and a smile makes people feel accepted. Resting bitch face. Also, try to be generally nice to people. Humility is so sexy. In all my years of guy talk, I have never met or talked to a guy who wasn't absolutely crazy about an attractive girl who wasn't nice to people and humble. That shit drives us crazy. That's the type of thing that makes a man think about a relationship with you. Think about it. No guy is daydreaming about the girl he likes being cold and standoffish to him. Being friendly and approachable puts an image in his head of him approaching you successfully. That's what you want, right? Okay, I covered a few there, so bear with me. The third-ish thing that guys find attractive that you can do to make a guy like you is hang around respectable and cool people. You heard the sayings, birds of a feather flock together. How can two walk together unless they agree? You are the company you keep. I don't give a damn. Insert whatever cliche you want here, but you will absolutely be judged by your friends. If you hang around awesome people who are nice and treat people right, a guy will feel more welcome to come and talk to you when they're around. If you have mean friends, they might as well be bug repellent for guys approaching you. I mean, no one wants to walk away and be made fun of by your friends who didn't think he was good enough to come and talk to you. And if you hang around assholes, he's going to think you're an asshole and he's still going to judge you as if you were them. I used to be fucking crazy about this girl back in school, but I couldn't stand any of the people she surrounded herself with. I couldn't stand them. She even appeared uglier when she was with them. If your friends aren't the type of people who welcome outsiders, then get the fuck away from them when your crush enters the room. If you want him to see you differently or at the very least demonstrate that you are different whenever possible. The fourth-ish thing that guys find attractive and the thing that you can do to make a guy like you is demonstrate some social independence. Guys like a girl with her own identity. It's cool to hang around your friends a lot, but don't come off like one of those plastics from the Mean Girls movie. Being self-led is always going to be something guys find attractive because no guy wants to date a girl who needs her friends to tell her what to do at every turn in her life. Make sure your crush sees you making your own decisions. It makes him feel more comfortable. It's hard enough getting up the courage to talk to a girl. It's much harder if you know not only do you have to impress her, but all of her friends as well when you approach her. That could scare a guy off. If you play this correctly, a guy will see you as an independent mind and be more likely to think about you romantically. The fifth thing that guys find attractive or something that you can do to make a guy like you is show some intellect. Um, some mental depth. Uh, guys don't give a damn about celebrity gossip or anything related to Kylie Jenner besides what she looks like. Make sure your crush sees that you have a mind outside of pop culture. Most guys will pretend to listen to anything that our crush has to say, but it gets really hard when all she talks about is celebrity gossip. You're talking about Kylie Jenner and I'm screaming inside of my head. I don't want to hear shit about Kim K. Oh, God, whoever the fuck y'all talking about right now. Celebrity gossip is usually not going to be a subject that captures a guy's heart. Kim K says. 
We don't give a fuck. Oh my God, did you hear about Rihanna? We don't give a fuck. Nope, don't care. We don't give a fuck. So please, learn something about anything else outside of pop culture. Try to be well informed. It's really attractive. Also, let your crush see that you have a passion. If you're passionate about something, let him see you demonstrating that passion. Unless, again, it's pop culture. We don't give a fuck. Anyway, that's it. That's my list. Give all of these a thought and try to apply them at least in the presence of your crush. They won't make him fall in love, but they will make him take the thought of a relationship with you more seriously. Anyway, I hope these impress the guy you like. If you have any questions, write me at kevhicktalkskyswithgirls at gmail.com. Click on my picture to subscribe. Click on these videos to see more of me. Until next time.